I'm a Learning Engagement Officer at St Barb Museum and Art Gallery. And today we're going to have a look at our World War II home front box and discover what stories the objects inside it tell us. So the home front box explores the experiences and the effects on the people living at home throughout the war here in Britain and what things that they got up to and had to do um, to help the war effort. So today's object is this and this is a gas mask complete with gas mask box inside you've got packing instructions and then further take out your gas mask here it is now this is a genuine world war ii gas mask and everybody was issued with one of these so every person in britain uh, was given a gas mask to wear now the reason they were given gas masks is in world war one um, poisonous gas bombs were dropped on the soldiers fighting and so there was a real concern that these gas bombs would be used um, again this time but this time would be dropped uh, from planes flying over Britain and so the government issued everybody with a gas mask just in case this happened. Luckily though no poisonous gas bombs were dropped uh, on UK soil um, throughout World War II, so nobody seriously had to use their gas mask. However, if there was a gas mask warning, which there quite often was just in case, you would need to put your gas mask on a bit like this, and hopefully the filter here would filter out any poisonous gases. Now, they're not very nice things to wear. Um, they smell very rubbery, um, feel quite claustrophobic if you put it on properly. And in fact, um, there were children's gas masks, slightly different to this one, a bit smaller, and they were a different colour so that you knew um, which gas mask was for whom. If these children were aged between 5 and 14 years, the likelihood is that they were evacuated, usually from more urban areas to the countryside. Lots of children from Southampton, for example, were moved to the New Forest. Um, and the reason they did this is bombs were less likely to be dropped on the countryside and therefore the children were safer to be living in the countryside than the city. And they were allowed to bring with them a small bag of belongings and of course they had to bring their gas mask. 